You guys tired of me saying one dollar yet? Everyone, take a shot every time I say one dollar. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today as I'm filming this, yes, it is not even close to Thanksgiving. It's basically not even mid-November, but yeah, I'm already wearing a holiday sweater and no, I am not sorry because if I'm being real, I actually started toying with the idea of putting up my Christmas decorations in like June. Today is the day that I'm just like so over everything. We all need a little cheer in our lives because it has been a freaking year. Well, as you can see, I'm not at home right now. Chris and I are actually living in Arizona for about a month or so. We're staying in a really, really cute Airbnb. Actually, I'll just show it to you guys now. but it's also kind of drab. I just felt like it was the perfect opportunity to turn this place into Santa's village, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So I hit up one of my favorite spots in the entire world, Dollar Tree. tree here's the evidence I'm kind of embarrassed to report that I spent over a hundred dollars which means I bought over a hundred items but you guys here's the thing like each little piece of a flower each little tiny little thing is one dollar so like it adds up really quickly is this a good excuse are you guys believing me do you like agree with me that this is actually okay I feel like I'm trying to talk myself into it I've also been scouring YouTube and the internet for a ton of DIYs using Dollar Tree Christmas items and holiday items and I found so many good ones that I actually think are easy enough for someone like me to not mess up. Chris is at work right now, and so my goal is that by the time he gets home, this place is turned into, like I said, Santa's freaking village. He has no idea what I'm up to. He never has any idea what I'm up to. I'm always doing weird stuff. I'm excited to surprise him with a makeover of our Airbnb whenever he gets home, but I have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Alright, so the obvious first step is to just open up everything that I purchased because I bought over a hundred items and I don't remember at all what's inside these bags. I just am very impulsive. I'm like, oh my gosh, tiny candles, I need 17. Small white Christmas trees, I need a bunch of these. I did buy a ton of these because I watched a DIY on YouTube where this woman, I became obsessed with her channel. I'm gonna link to it in the info section below. She basically like tied a bunch of these together like on top of each other. That's probably not the right word. There's probably some like crafty terminology to use. And she made one skinny, tall white tree. So pray for me, I'm going to attempt that. I have a bunch of these white little trees. I got some fake snow. I feel like this could be cool and maybe like a little tablescape or some sort of centerpiece on the coffee table. Obviously a tree topper. You guys, one dollar. They had so many amazing ornaments. Oh, I got these little cookie cutters. LOL, like as if I'm gonna make cookies. I don't know why I have these. Maybe I'll give them to someone who likes to bake. Got a ton of these LED candles. These tiny, tiny little stockings. I think you can use these for like treat bags, but I just thought they were so cute and also super unnecessary, but so cute, right? I got this gold frame. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I feel like there's a cool DIY opportunity, like maybe a little nook with some coffee cups and then I can like write, help yourself or whatever. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I think this could be a really cute gift. Moms always love it when you frame a photo and give it to them for the holidays, and this costs $1. More LED candles, ooh, ooh, these. I got a ton of these packets of 20 count lights. They're mini and they're clear, which is the color that I prefer, unless you're going for like a super colorful thing. This is five feet long, so it's not super long, but it's enough for a tiny tree, and so I bought a bunch of these. More fake snow, more tiny lights. Ooh, I'm excited about this. So this is a charger, which is like if you go to a fancy dinner at someone's house, this is like the plate for the plate. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? You put your plate on top of this and this is meant as more of a decor item. I love these because you can also use them for centerpieces. One dollar. You're getting the point, right? Everything costs a dollar. And then I got this probably as a gift to give to someone because it's not really my aesthetic. I like more of a aesthetic aesthetic, if you guys know what I mean. I like neutrals. I like a lot of whites and gold. That's what I would go for in my house. But I feel like my mom would love this 
This tray would be so cool to like make cookies and put them on, like give treats to your neighbors. They also have these little tiny plates, so you could give it as a set. And then these pot holders, they're all in that like buffalo check sort of aesthetic. And this is a gift that would be so fun to give and it costs $3 total. Moving on to the next bag. Starting to run out of space. So remember when I was talking about the centerpiece I wanna make? Well, at Dollar Tree, they have a ton of vases in different sizes. I know a lot of brides use these for their weddings and these cost a dollar, so I got various sizes of these. I think this could be really cool to like put on this platter a bunch of candles, maybe add some greenery and maybe even some fake snow and a few decorations. So I'm not gonna open all of those, but I got a bunch. They're all in here, different sizes, each $1. You guys tired of me saying $1 yet? Every Everyone, take a shot every time I say one dollar. Actually, don't do that <laughs> because you won't be able to finish watching the video. This is what I was talking about when I said there's a ton of floral bouquet options, things that you can use to make your own wreaths. I actually got some wreath forms as well. Look at these, you guys. So many different options. This does add up quickly because like this little pine cone stick with this cotton ball on the top cost a dollar, but you need a lot of this kind of stuff if you are gonna make a wreath or do an arrangement on your table. At the end of the day, compared to what you would pay at other floral stores, this is an insanely awesome deal. This is the Buffalo Check towel that goes with the other stuff I already showed you. And what's this called? An oven mitt. Oh, an oven mitt. Can you tell I don't make cookies enough? Lastly, just in this bag, I should say. How cool are these? I got Chris and I personalized stockings, again, one dollar each not super our aesthetic but since we're in an airbnb i'm just gonna play with the vibe a little one bag left oh whoa got a little mangled in the transport but we have another christmas tree another christmas tree more floral stuff also they have really good metallic options if that's your vibe it's definitely my vibe so you have like the super super glittery situation this one's a little bit more muted and then you have something more traditional which is just like a white poinsettia with these little dingleberry what are these called holly berries dingleberries whatever i'm gonna call them dingleberries another christmas tree wow how many of these so far i think i bought five or six of those trees some floral foam this is always good to have on hand if you're planning to do any sort of arrangement because as the name would imply, you can put the pieces of the florals in here and they stay in place. This is awesome. One dollar, take a drink. Ooh, you guys, this is really, really cool and I might kind of zhuzh this up a bit with a little embellishment up here, but this is a wreath hanger and I love having these not only for the holiday season, but also for the non-holiday season because I always have a wreath on my front door. I just feel like there's nothing more inviting than a beautiful wreath on your front door and I usually like to have a lot of wreaths in my house at Christmas and during the holidays and it's like in a really cool like gold sort of hue. And then, duh, you gotta get some ornaments. So I got these little tiny baby gold ones because I thought they might be good on the tree that I'm going to hopefully create. I'm not sure if I got enough now that I'm thinking about it. More florals and then I know you guys are probably like what is this? Did you buy a chain link fence? You guys, this is how the sausage is made, meaning these are formed for wreaths. What you can do based on the DIYs that I've watched is take stuff like this Stick it in and tie it down with like some wire or some glue or whatever and create your very own wreath at a massive discount. Do you guys know how much wreaths can cost by the way? They can be like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But with this stuff, I feel like I could probably make one for like maybe 10 bucks. So I got three that were shaped just like your normal basic wreath. And then I got these two, which are candy cane shape. I also got this, which is just a fun little key sign that you can hang. This is some sort of wood material, so technically you could paint this. But again, my aesthetic is kind of like naturals and metallics, very aesthetic aesthetic. You guys know what I'm talking about when I say aesthetic aesthetic, right? And it does have a little rope hanger on the back. However, I purchased some more rope because I thought it could be cool to even put ornaments on it, to embellish something, or add this to help in hanging some of the wreaths. It's just always good, kind of like the floral foam, to have something like this around. I got these little color drone ornaments and they come with little hangers as well. But I thought this could be cool even to adorn the wreath hanger that I got. The options are really endless and this could be a cool little craft for kids. And of course, 
You gotta come through with a lot of ribbon. Ribbon is something I can never seem to have enough of, so I bought a ton of it. This is like a mesh curly with the wire in it so that you can form it on your tree. I also got this red, which is a little scary to me because it looks like there's a lot of glitter in there. I have very, very mixed feelings about glitter, mostly on the negative side. It's fun until it's not fun because it never leaves your house. The last two things I'm super excited about, floral wire. I'm gonna use this to attach all of the flowers onto the wreaths that I got and also attach these trees together. And of course, some snow spray, some fake snow. Not sure what I'm gonna use this on, but it says this is perfect for putting on Christmas trees, decorations, wreaths, and glass surfaces. I know that Lily's a big fan of this stuff. I've never tried to use it, so fingers crossed, it goes well. Again, I spent $119. <laughs> Dollar Tree and I have no regrets whatsoever because I just don't a it brought me a lot of joy and B just buying a tree like a fake tree or even a real tree itself costs way more than that so basically this is community service does anyone believe me do I believe myself <laughs> okay time to decorate First things first, I'm gonna start with some of the DIY projects that I want to attempt. The first one is gonna be opening up all of the little Christmas trees that I got. And these would actually be so cute just to have in like a kid's room or in your bathroom or honestly, if you just don't have time or interest in buying an expensive fake or real tree this holiday season. My mom is the queen of Christmas trees and she has little trees like this all throughout her house. So I'm gonna open up all of these. And then here at the bottom, attach each one using a little bit of this floral wire and just like hope and pray that it works. Okay, you guys, I officially think I am a DIY genius because I've already discovered a little hack that I think is going to work. So you see on the top of the trees, each of these is obviously like a little piece of metal. So what I'm gonna actually do is just go ahead and take this little piece that I'm holding onto here and just weave it, wrap it around a few times. It's not perfect, but I think I'm onto something. Update, this is really, really coming together, and the coolest part is that because the tree is white and all of the base and attachments are white, they blend in so perfectly. It's a fun little kind of like skinny tree vibe, and what I'm gonna do at the bottom is actually do two trees to help provide a little bit more of a sturdy base, and I'm just gonna like nestle them up together and attach them down here. I think this is beyond cute, and so far, $3. I don't wanna to speak too soon. I think it worked. Once I fluff it up a little bit and add some ribbon and add some of these bulbs and maybe even a little bit of this floral decor, I think Martha Stewart is gonna be calling me is what I'm getting at. Now it's time for me to move on to the next DIY that fingers, toes, cross I can actually accomplish. And I'm just gonna go for it and try to do one of these wreath forms. This cost a dollar and I bought a bunch of this white poinsettia greenery. What I'm gonna do is just cut off these individual pieces, weave them through this, and then use some of this floral wire to attach each flower. An hour later and like this looks like some sort of deathbed of fake flowers and greenery, I present to you my wreath, it looks so, so good. On this side, it looks pretty bad, but on this side, it looks, this looks awesome. This looks like at least 50 bucks, am I right? I've decided my next semi-DIY is gonna be the centerpiece I was talking about with this charger and these candle holders. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on this and then decorate the tree, hang up the wreath, put out all of this other stuff I've got, and surprise Chris when he gets home from work. Chris just texted me that he's home from work. I can see him out there in his car. There he is. He's so cute. Hi, babe. I have a surprise for you. Babe. I decorated for decorated Christmas. For us. Tree actually. Babe, this is you. five trees. I took five tiny trees and made one big tree. Really? Yeah. Looks amazing. I also handcrafted that wreath. 
all this by stuff? hand. It's like, oh my gosh, babe. What do you think? I got it's everything. Like crazy. Barrel. You built that? How's that even painting? Just existing nails? Yeah, I took the decor off the wall and I put this up, but I made this from hand. Good job. Do you feel festive? Yeah, and the other thing I noticed over here, the C and J stocking. <laughs> this is awesome. Did you put anything in here yet for me? No, not yet. What would you like in your stocking? I don't know. I just, I thought you might surprise me. Okay, wow. So, Operation Airbnb Christmas two months early oh, went geez. off without a hitch, but the reason that Santa Claus only works one day a year is because it's freaking exhausting. Jazzy Claus Jossie is Claus. ready for some white claws. I'm tired, but this was totally worth it. You guys hit the comment section. Let me know, A, if you're obsessed with Dollar Tree, and B, if you are obsessed with the Dollar Tree DIYs that I did, and if you are as shocked as I am that they actually work. And if you are new here, please subscribe, join the party, click that bell so that you can get hit the, the bell, notification. Notification bell. Because I'm gonna have a lot more fun holiday stuff coming at ya, including, don't know if you guys already saw, just a fun little like holiday outfit styling challenge because why not? Also, really hoping that for Christmas, Santa helps me get rid of this guy. Anyone else relate to that? And with that, my friends, I hope you're doing well and happy holidays.